Look at this, guys. So stoked. It's not done yet, but we're almost there. Almost, finally. Had all the flooring ripped out. It was all rotted. All new flooring in the rear. This whole side. Additional support up front. Uh, more bolts into the frame with more wood. Welded a beam in the back and the front for additional support on the flooring. New axle. Got that welded on, custom built. Raised it four inches. Took the AC out. Weight reduction plus it stuck out like a foot. And this is going to be off-roading quite a bit. Um, I got the solar set up coming through the wall. Uh, I got to get all this mounted still. This is all the electrical. And then I got to put the water tank in the new solar battery. And then this is where the platform builds out. And the previous owner built like a setup. So it's a full queen size bed at all times over here. So that's pretty rad. And then this is just all messy stuff. The stove. Um, refrigerator has been pulled out. I have a refrigerator in the truck. So that's how that works. Dining room table. I just got to mount that in. And then this is where you sit to eat. Table rotates to get in and out over there. Um, and then I paneled the walls because the old bubble windows were there. And the previous owner took those out and put some like super thin sheet metal on the outside with like 80,000 screws. None of them were aligned symmetrically. It all looked like crap. And then in here, it was some really bad border and it was like about half the size but it went into all this rotted wood on the roof, which was super wavy. So it was just, it was all bad. So I took all that up, cleaned it up as best I could. I did this and it's decent. Um, you know, the screws are in healthy wood, so it stays on. There's a little bit of a, you know, little, little movement um, because there are holes right behind that where the bubble windows were. My goal is next year, to pull that off and pull all the lamination and rebuild the interior walls and the ceiling. But um, we'll save that for another time. This has been pulled apart since April. So it feels pretty good to start seeing it come together. You know, been a lot of work repainting the interior. Wanted to keep that old school trailer feel, but have it all new.